How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the Dawn of Man. And man, are we ever getting a lot of dogs. What are we at now, like five? Oh, I thought that was a dog there. That's just a guy praying. Sorry, dude, didn't mean to call you a dog, but you seem to be happy, so that is good. Anyways, we're back today, and today is a really good day because we are now at Mesolithic Era, and we can actually unlock some of these new arid abilities. So yeah, we already unlocked pottery, which didn't really give us much, but uh, it will once we can get well digging. Uh, next thing I want to get, I think, is going to be archery. Being that we already got attacked, it's going to be smart to keep our defenses alive. And uh, obviously, archery is going to be extremely useful. So what, what do we have with the trader today? Good old Keurig. Looking through here, we have a little bit of straw. I wonder if I could use that straw to plant. Ah, there's actually grain here as well. All right, so yeah, looking through here, we have some outfits and everything. I wonder if we could use the grain or straw to start farming. I think maybe I'll buy that just to have it. Trade values for, what do we have a lot of? I mean, we got so much food right now, it's kind of ridiculous. What? And the trade value of things like flint as well, which I can get a lot of, is actually pretty damn good. So I think trading makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna do that. Let's also, well, how much are skin outfits? Okay, so they're not cheap, so I, I can make my own. That's no big deal. Leather we might also wanna get if we, yeah, you know what? Let's grab a few leather here. I didn't realize flint would be worth a little bit of money. We're always max stocked because I only tell them to collect 30. So yeah, we'll do that. And that seems like a pretty fair deal. So yeah, we have some strong grain in case we can plant it. I doubt we can, but I mean, it's in our inventory now so we can deal with it later. All right, so yeah, what we gotta do now is gain three more knowledge points so then we can get archery and uh, yeah, unlock that. So I think I wanna do something crazy today. I wanna try, I'd actually love to try and take down a mammoth just to see how hard it would be. Doesn't look like we have any mammoths around, so we'll wait for that. That could be really risky, though. It could take out my whole population, and I would feel really bad about that. But I just, I want to take down a mammoth. Okay, we do actually have one way over here. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. He's probably not going to walk very far, so I'm just going to tell them to hunt it, and we'll see what happens. We're at an area where I don't really need to play safe. We don't have any issues right now, so I thought we'd just try this just to see. What the hell is that? A, is there like a pterodactyl? Oh, it's just a bird. That's right. Humans were not around when... <laughs> What's pterodactyls? What the hell am I saying? All right, so I'm actually curious to see how many they're going to bring. So the hunters should hopefully be coming soon. Uh, maybe I should wait for archery now that I think about it. Yeah, you know what? Okay, we'll do it once we get the, the bows and arrows because obviously that would make this way easier. But he'll, he'll hang around here and we'll be totally fine. So yeah, we just got to figure out how to gain a little bit of knowledge right now. The hell is... Oh, it's a standing bear! I was like, is there a really fat guy in the woods over here? <laughs> no, dude, the bears actually stand. Is he just sitting there? He's actually looking at my <laughs> thing, too. It's kind of creepy. I think he's plotting against us or something. All right, well, we can get some pears here. I feel like, to get knowledge, we've hunted pretty much every safe animal, so we're not gaining any more knowledge doing that. Actually, we got a situation here where bison are actually hurt. So, it looks like they got in a fight or something. We'll utilize this to... I don't know if I've hunted a bison, so that might give us knowledge right there. But yeah, most of the green animals... What are these guys? Are these donkeys? Yeah, I think we've already hit donkeys, but yeah, we got wild donkeys up there. I don't know what happened to these guys. Is this... They're all bison, but they must have fought something. All right, but yeah, what I was saying is I think I gotta get to kind of foraging to gain some knowledge. So, I'm trying to look for new types of trees. We have already done chestnuts. I know that, but there's a lot of different things here. Bitter vetch. I don't even know what a vetch is. There's a lot of different things in here. Not sure if we've gotten raspberries before. May as well collect them, though, to add to our pile. I mean, emmer, I don't know what half of these things are, and it's kind of blowing me away how much is already in this game. If you are curious, by the way, I think the game comes out in like two or three months, so it's still very much an early game. All right, so yeah, we got our villagers doing a couple things, hunting and foraging. That should hopefully help us out. And yeah, let's get back into moving and let's speed it up. See if these guys will come over here and take these things down. All right, there they are. Oh, everybody ran! Lady, what are you doing? Oh, she's going to get the berries and you scared all the bisons away. All right, they didn't go too far at least. So the hunters, are these guys foraging as well? Where are my hunters at? There they are. Okay, the hunters are coming in. We might have to do a wild hunt here. But these guys don't have too much health. There we go. One hit that one. 
And now they're hunting the other one. I'm just going to keep it fast. That one's dead as well. So that was really easy because those two were really damaged. But yet now we have to trek all the way back with that meat. That's going to take a while. All right, but yeah, look at that. We, I guess we never hunted bison because that gave me one more knowledge. And I guess getting 100 meat gave us knowledge as well. So now we just need to get one more. I uh, wonder if we can get... You know what? Let's chop some more trees down. I didn't realize getting a certain amount of items will give us knowledge as well. All right, and people are going to hate me for doing this, but I just want to see if there's knowledge involved. And to be fair, we're surviving right now. I'm going to slaughter a dog because I just want to get this knowledge. I'm so sorry. I don't want to do it, but you know what? It's free meat. We're, we're making more of them anyways. There's like five dogs here now, so... Oh, God. <sighs> Dog has been slaughtered. That was... Ah! I thought it would give me some knowledge, because I've never done that before, but clearly it didn't. So, I hope, you know, good old Rufus is uh, delicious, because now he's dead. Alright, so we have a lacking amount of clothing as well. I'm not sure if this means how much is in the inventory or how much total. I'm assuming we have more than 10. We have 20 people here now. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need to make more clothing before the winter, so let's queue up some of that. Now... The skins outfits are still more warm than the leather outfits, so I'm going to continue doing those. And one makes two, so how many... I got lots of dry skin right now, so yeah, we're just going to collect a bunch of these. And we can always sell them later if we don't use them. But yeah, obviously, we need to get warm. It's probably... what? What's? It's fall right now, so yeah, winter's quickly coming. And obviously, we got a lot of naked people around, so... Yeah, we might even want to get more than that. I wonder if the clothing wears out, because I, I swear I had more than 10. So I'm thinking that might be the case. If we go on to someone that clearly has clothing on, is there... Oh, there is durability. Oh, you bastards. I don't I don't like durability. Now, now I really have to deal with that. So yeah, we're going to get more outfits. We got to keep getting clothing then. We're currently at 16. We have 20 population, so we'll definitely have more than what we need. And also, I think our capacity is 21. We should get some more people soon, so let's put down another residence. Hopefully soon we can actually get these huts. We got to get thatching for that. Um, because, yeah, I'm getting sick of putting down these things. They only hold three people, and that's a lot of resources to only house three people. But yeah, we're going to make a big circle here soon. So does that mean tools also have a durability? Yes, they do. I've been paying attention to them, though, and we still have a lot of them. But yes, durability is indeed a thing in this game, for it looks like everything that they use. So we'll just have to, have to keep an eye out for all of our items here. And we're starting to gain quite a few of them, so it's a little overwhelming. Oh, we have a cave bear over here. He's really close. Oh, never mind. I, I just killed a donkey. And I guess I got my knowledge. I swear I've killed a donkey before. We got another trader here already. Wait, is there two here? Do we have two traders here? Or is this lady just awkward? No, there's actually two traders here. What the hell? Ooh! Okay, my voice just cracked, but I could actually buy archery. And that's going to give me seven more knowledge points for something else. So if we can afford this somehow, we have so much food right now. I can't believe freaking meat's only worth one. Um, okay, I was expecting more than that. We still only have 15 flint. We recently traded, so I guess we got to work on flint. So I'm thinking, oh, man. Okay, I was going to try and do it this way, but I don't know. Okay, actually, skin outfits are worth a little bit of money. We can make lots more of them. How many actual uh, leather, or actually, we don't need leather. We need dry skin. So we still have eight dry skins. So I think I'm going to sell some of these outfits. Still, we need so much, though. How much is leather? I don't think I have any leather right now. So if we sell... Yeah, the problem is these are only worth one. I was expecting because flint's worth two that they would at least be worth two. So that's a little bit of a bummer. You know what? Let's get rid of these wooden harpoons. We can get better ones now. So yeah, we can try and get rid of some of this crap stuff. And something else we haven't used much of is bone. I do want to keep it though because I know it probably will be useful later. Leather. How much is leather worth? I wonder if we have time to make some things. So hold on. I'm going to... Yeah. They're here for a little while, so I think I'm going to actually try and make these things because I think it's worth more money if we actually make things to trade. Now, what is the other lady? So she's got archery. Do they both have the same stuff? They do. So it looks like that was a little bit of a bug. We got two of the same people. Okay. I don't want to wait too long because they will leave. Uh, cave bear attack. Oh, God. That's not good. That's not good at all. Where's this bear at? 
Uh, looks like he's right. Is this guy gonna attack me? Oh! Yeah, he, he actually did attack someone. Okay, now we're shooting him. This might work for me. He died! Okay, we're better hunters than I thought, man. We just took down a bear. I don't think anybody died there. We still have 20 residents, so yeah, we're totally fine. Looks like he just attacked us, but we made him our bitch. So, we're still making these things. Let me actually open this up, see what we got now. So, skin outfit six. Leather outfits, we'll do those. Yeah, you know what? We're still not even close. Like, what would I have to get rid of to actually get that much money? It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I can make the wooden harpoons. Okay, so yeah, we still need a little bit more. We'll see if they're still here, but I gotta get these things done. Oh, we're actually done. So we made that much. Let's get some more skin outfits then, and let's continue doing this. So we need lots of skin outfits anyways, and you know what? We're gonna need spears soon. So we'll make some flint spears for myself, and we'll see if that's enough. Oh, there she goes. Oh, and I can't even... Oh, no, I can't even trade her when she leaves. Okay, so there's the sledge. At least I know what that is now, so we can move things around if we do buy that. That's too bad. I really wanted to get the archery done. Oh, crap, we need wood as well. Uh, oh, we actually have logs. They just need to put another one on the fire. Do we have a logging area? We have a gathering stick area. We have a hunting area, fishing area, cut down tree area. Well, that's a problem. Let's move that. <laughs> so we'll edit that, and let's cut these trees down here. Expand out our territory a little bit. I'm assuming trees regrow, because I have slowly cut these ones down, and now they're back. All right, so we're going to cancel some of these skin outfits, because, well, we don't really need to do them now. Uh, that's giving us, giving us 32 outfits, though, so we should be fine for obviously a while. Uh, so that's good. All right, so being that the traders are gone, it's now time to purchase archery. I was really hoping to get to grain processing as well, so we'll have to wait for that. And yeah, I think archery is still the best idea, so we're going to queue up some of those. What do we need for bows? It should be pretty easy. Ooh, we need dry skin. I didn't think about that. We still have some, though, so we're okay. And we're going to do... Let's do five bows. That will give us a pretty big team of bowmen. And winter is officially here. Now everybody's nice and warm. We have no unhappy people, so we had more than enough time to build those clothes. Let's actually see, usually wintertime, all the animals leave. And as you can see, yeah, they're starting to head this way. We got mammoths way over here. I think we'll wait till summertime to try and go get them because this is like halfway across the world. Screw that crap. We'll wait for them to come to us. Summertime's probably a better time to attack them anyways. This is, oh, it's just a wild horse here. I wonder... I wonder if we can do horseback riding later. And welcome to summer and a cave lion freaking attack. There he is. All right, get out your bows and arrows. Lady, oh, you're dead. You're dead, lady. Fight back. Oh my God, I love that everybody's equipped. Even the dog comes over. That was a really quick attack. Are you okay? All right, you're half health. You should slowly heal over time, I'm assuming. But yeah, we survived the winter. Uh, that was actually a really quick winter. Not too bad. And we gained some knowledge for doing that as well. So we need one more knowledge point uh, to unlock something else. So that tells me we should probably go for the mammoth now if he's around here. They're still way over here. So you know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to take out the old female because she's got a lot of meat on her. And she should be pretty easy. So... Oh, we're going to hunt this. This is going to take forever to get to. Oh, there's a little baby that's hurt here, too. I don't know if I want to take out too many of them. Because, again, I have no idea if you can destroy the population of animals. I will have to play more to really understand that. But until I figure that out, I'm trying to keep some of the kids around, some of the baby animals around, so we can get more food later on, obviously. Ooh, storm. Is that another cave lion attack? I hope not. I'm just going to wait over here, and hopefully they'll come over soon. All right, here they come, here they come. Let's watch this hunting party. Uh, because we can't really see in here anyways. And, yes. Okay, really bad view. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, crap. Well, are you okay? Okay, he got knocked back. But they're okay. Can you guys, like, grab some meat on the way back? Do you, Ugh, man, I, I hate my villagers. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. My job's done. I'm ready to die anyways. I don't want any freaking meat. There we go. I just got an achievement. Massive hunter as well. We got the freaking mammoth, guys. I feel pretty good about that. Clearly, the bows worked well as well. So there we go. That should be a big payday. We do got to bring this big boy back, though. He's got seven skins on him, ten raw meat, and a little bit of bone. Not bad. Not bad at all.
And as assumed, that gave me enough knowledge as well to unlock something else. So now I gotta decide. I'm kinda going back and forth between grain processing and sledge making. I feel like the sledges are used when they have to transfer things like meat back, obviously, so... Oh, crap. I, I just wanted to... Oh, did I really just do that? Okay, I was actually gonna pick sledge making, but I clicked the freaking button to open up this thing. It automatically opens up, so now I learned it. Damn it! All right, well, I guess we're doing grain processing. Not that there's anything wrong with that either, because, uh, yeah, the more food we have, the better. So let's see if we can figure out how to do this one. This should be fun, because there's a lot with this one, I think. So production, we have the mortar now as well. I think, actually, is that it? The mortar? Um, yeah, looks like it's a rock to crush grain into flour, so we can make bread. So yeah, today I learned any part of grain that is edible is called cereal. I, uh, I didn't know that. I just thought it was a breakfast choice. So that's interesting. All right, so yeah, it looks like we have to harvest wild ones. I'm wondering when we can get into farming then. What's pulse processing? Allows you to harvest wild pulses and cook them. Okay, uh, cereal domestication allows you to plant and harvest cereal. So we need cereal domestication to do that. When are we going to get that? So right now, all we can do, really do is forage for it and make it into bread. That's obviously still really good. And yeah, in the next era, we can actually start farming. So we'll definitely look for some of those grains. I also bought some, so we may as well put the mortar down, and they should automatically make bread out of it anyways. So I'm assuming that's how it works anyways. So yeah, we're going to do that. Throw the... Oh, that's a tanner. Whoops. But yeah, we shall throw the mortar. Um, we got all our crafting junk over here. This is really a mess. I really want to organize this better later. I guess we'll just throw it here for right now. I mean, it's just going to be basically homes around this. And then kind of like a central market with everything in between there. So yeah, we'll do it that way. And yeah, I really hope we can make bread with this. Pending materials, stone. I actually, I don't think I have any stone, so let's collect some. <laughs> I can actually tell him to mine stone. Can we actually put up a, a thing that is for stone? Work area, extract, there's flint? Oh, there is stone. Okay, you know what? Let's start collecting stone. That's a, that's a decent commodity to have. So we'll put that up there and we'll do one person and we'll do 30 like usual. Now, how many pickaxes do I got actually right now? Um, Do I have any? Oh God, did I, did I? Is that why I'm not gaining flint? Oh, no, I, I do have flint picks, so I'm not sure why nobody seems to be uh, going flinting. Is that, is that a thing, flinting? But yeah, I'm not sure why they're not gaining flint, so they have the tools, and where did I put the flint? I think we moved it, right? Wait, do I not have a flint area? What the hell's going on here? Yeah, I don't have a flint area. Okay, well, now I learned. I'm not sure where that one went, but uh, yeah, let's put down another one then, and we got flint right over here. Yeah, you know what? That's that's nice and close. We'll do all the mining over here now. We can definitely go back to where we were, but we may as well just do it here. So that makes more sense now. I was wondering why I wasn't gaining any flint. And look at this man gain this stone. Everybody in my village is old now. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of adorable as well because we haven't had many death losses. I wonder if we got to make, like, a grave site. I know we have that uh, totem for the dead. I wonder if I should put that down soon because we're getting... Some really old people, so this is going to take longer than I expected. Mining rock kind of does. Uh, while we're doing that, yeah, let's put down that thing. Why not? So, yeah, we have the skull pole, a structure in memory of the dead. Now, yeah, that's actually really smart to do now because people are going to start mourning. So let's actually put this inside of our kingdom. Our kingdom. I, I really shouldn't call it that. It's, it, it's hardly a kingdom, let's be honest here. But, yeah, we'll do it right here. Let's do it right there. That looks great. And then once people start dying... We won't have to deal with sadness like this guy. Why, why, why are you sad, man? Uh, yeah, mor mor morals just low. To be fair, I'd be pretty sad if I was you as well, buddy. You look like a ghost right now. Go get some fish in you or something after bringing that rock all the way back here. Where the hell are you going with my stones, man? Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is going on here? Are you guys stealing stones? Oh, that must be the shallowest part of the river. They always go that way. I was wondering why they were wandering down the river. But yes, here comes the final stone. We just needed two, but it felt like it took forever to get those. She's sad as well. Everybody, everybody who has to move stone around is just sad. So, oh, hey, no, I want... Can you just go put it on the damn mortar? All right, can somebody move this? Oh, this guy's smart. He actually just went over and did it. So there we go. Now, hopefully, we can actually make bread. So flour. We should have straw in here. And yes, there we go. She's making the flour. Bang it. 
Bang it! There we go. Oh my god, that's a lot of flour. No, let's let's go turn that into bread. Okay, I'm I'm done watching you guys because you do one task and then you're just done. Um, but yeah, they should start making bread now. Oh, I just saw one in there. We now should have bread somewhere. Yes, and there we go. We have made bread, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good day. Hey, hey, little guy. <laughs> he just took the hut for himself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? Wait, 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 wait. Who the hell are you? Oh, it's a traitor. You didn't even stop by. Aw, I kind of wanted to trade, man. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to deal with that later. Seems to be the death totems working well, so somebody must have died. Cured meat. Knowledge plus one. There we go. Now we have seven knowledge again, so that means... Now we can get sledge making, and let's indeed do that because I want to see if this thing is in fact what we need to transfer lots of meat at once. So sledges are going to take also dry skin, so we need lots of dry skin right now, man. Um, oh, actually, that's leather, isn't it? Okay, well, that's a good use for leather then. I guess we can put this wherever the hell we want. So we'll throw this over here. Let's make two of them just because we can. And they should, yeah, they have the materials to make them anyway. So now, these guys should hopefully just automatically use these. I, don't, I hope I don't have to tell them. The kid's making it? I don't know if I want to trust the kid's, the kid's one. Never mind, I think he was just playing there. That was weird. All right, but now they're actually making it. This guy's standing here doing nothing. Good for you, buddy. Do you just, just want to use it? Okay, he's gone now. And who's going to win? This guy wins. All right, so yeah, Sledge. Very basic. It's got sticks, and you can drag it. So now, let's actually try and hunt. Let's not try and hunt a dog. I've already done that too many times in this episode. Is there anything close that's... Yeah, we got some donkeys over here. Or horses this time. So let's utilize those bows and let's hunt some horse here. These guys might be hard to catch up to. You guys... Oh, really? Okay, you do have bows. All right. So, yeah, looks like horses... The problem with hunting horses is they're really freaking fast. Get them, boys. Really? You missed them again. Okay, this is, this is why we need a sledge. I'm just going to let you guys do it. Screw it. And he's, like, literally across the map. You guys, <laughs> this, is, this might have been a bad idea. All right, please tell me. You got it! Okay, now, now I expect a sledge to come here. All right, and that guy doesn't have a sledge. Um, I'm hoping the sledge is coming now that you've skinned it and now that there's lots of items down here. I also noticed I didn't do much hunting this year, and clearly hunting's pretty important because... Uh, we dropped down to about half food. We should be totally fine. I was overproducing food anyways. But now we have 25 mouse to feed, so it is a little worrisome. Oh, crap. We're at capacity as well, so I just wanted to see. Come on, man. Please tell me we're, we're using those sledges. Well, wait. Are you guys? No, nope, you guys are seriously walking. I built sledges for a reason. I mean, to be fair, it'd probably be a pain in the butt to use a sledge in a mountain. But, yeah, they're literally just walking all the way back. And where the hell's my village? It's way over here. So, are the sledges at least gone? Yes, they are. So, they're being used somewhere else at the bare minimum. What's wrong with my dogs? It doesn't say what's wrong with them. Are they heartbroken? I mean, there's a heart with electricity in it. What the hell does that mean? I mean, their vitals are okay. Hydration's a little low. Everything looks fine, though. So, I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay, this guy really needs water. Go get a drink of water, dude. All right, so yeah, we got a sledge here, and I'm not sure where the other one went, but at least they're using them. I don't have to tell them to use them. I was really hoping they would use them when I wanted them to, though. So yeah, I think this is a good time to end off this one. We are getting through the Mesolithic era, and that's obviously really exciting. Did a lot today. We hunted a few big animals, got some of the unlocks that I really, really wanted, and I'm excited to be slowly moving into farming, because that's going to be the next big thing I think we need. So yeah, once again, guys, this is Dawn of Man. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see in this game, let me know in the comments below. I'm always reading them. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.